This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 50th, 5th, 55th, 55th. 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 episode recorded on the 12th of September 2017 and we have a new finally I got you here man it it took a while to get you it is uh, James Irons hi James hi Jimmy come on oh, fine Jimmy Jimmy I'm trying trying to be formal but sure yeah. we, no we no can... you're you're Jimmy here yeah right. yeah Uh, Jimmy's here. Um, I'm not saying Reginald, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, or uh, Jack Yorkular. Jack Yorkular. Yeah. I'd, no I, I, sure. I couldn't find a longer version of Jack Jackster. Polissimo. Polissimo, yeah, I like that one. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. L- you don't go that by too often. Lukington. N- of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All these uh, th- those references names. only make sense to people who have <laughs> gone through the whole FFP catalog and were like, yeah, 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 this are, those are, that's references for the, for the long-time listeners. It's a good excuse to listen back. Yeah, and we covered a very special movie, Siegfeld Girls, or Girl? The Siegfeld wa- Girl. The one and only Siegfeld It, Girl. Yeah, Siegfeld, Siegfeld Girl. Um... Directed by Robert C. Leonard and Busby Berkeley, which is the... <laughs> His name could have been Fakington McFakington, <laughs> and it would have been as believable as Busby Berkeley. <laughs> I know, I think it's a good name. It's a very, it's a 40s name. Yeah. You know, which is, which is what's, fitting. What's Busby's wife's name? <laughs> Melisandre Berkeley. Uh, Buzz. B. Oh, there you his go. Son, his son That's is Busby the second. Of course, Busby yeah. Junior. Maybe uh, there's there a line. You don't really Busby Junior sounds like a hamburger chain, though. <laughs> hey, where have been? Uh, uh, where, where did you go to? Uh, I went to to Busby Juniors. Oh, they have amazing potatoes. You have to drive a while to get to good Busbys these yeah. days. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yeah. So yeah, Busby Busby Berkeley directed it co-directed it and it it, it stars a, a sleuth yes. of stars it's got quite a, an all-star cast for the 40s yeah r- really great we have for for ff relevance we have we have hedy lamar who we covered we covered two of her movies previously but this one is definitely definitely a standout even though mm. she didn't get much to do in the movie compared to judy garland who just Hog the screen like a motherfucker, and uh, which is another Austrian Austrian link there, Judy Garland. <laughs> kind of, kind of. It is. Well, she, it, she played an Austrian in a movie once. Yeah. Well. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Judy Garland. Uh, Sandra. Uh, uh, what was it? Lena Turner as Sheila Reagan, who played the. M- most tragic role i well, guess i i think of all the people in the movie she was the Get main a bit a little closer to the mic man she was the main yeah person yeah um despite the fact that she's only fourth on the casting list she was the she was the main gal yeah yeah she was the the true protagonist but the protagonist that you <laughs> love to hate yeah nearly an antagonist she is definitely not a hero in this in this scenario it is more of a falling from grace kind of yeah it's and, what, it's and, a and cautionary and tale yeah it is it is it is it is it is on on imdb it is under drama musical romance but we fucking laughed our asses off is that the british and austrian dark humor influence it must for be. us i mean because because we found 
shit hilarious <laughs> that and would have been really tragic if it, if it happened to either of us or some relative of ours if somebody <laughs> actually <laughs> tripped and fell and down the stairs like dangerous stairs we wouldn't be like ah, fuck her <laughs> <laughs> well fuck in you, our auntie. defense right yeah. there are some hella good one-liners in here Oh yeah, there, yes. Uh, there's oh. cause for laugh. Quips, quips all around, man. They're quiptastic with with the, with their whole. Quiptastic. Yeah. Nice, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I I, I think sh- they, they 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 really know how to do a good quip, and and you were writing down like yeah, I've, have, got, I've got I've you got have pages several pages. pages of of quips. Um, so let's just. I think we can we can we can uh, move on to the first segment and that is plots. It's hard for me the the the, the plot thing because there's not a lot of plot here. I was lost multiple times. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had to turn to you <laughs> and just go. The, the hell non-native is speaker. <laughs> the non-native speaker. To yeah. Like the amount of uh, jumps in time this movie makes. Oh yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. And they only once only they give us a, a visual indicator by having the sign on the on the billboard yeah. change from uh, eight weeks or fourth week or something. Yeah, eight weeks to thirty-two fourth, weeks. No, fourth. I, I wrote down thirty-second okay. week later, <laughs> <laughs> and then last week, and uh, yeah, that. Those jumps just made it. I don't know. It 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 it, it made it a bit grueling sometimes. Yeah, I've it, literally got in my notes. I'm kind of lost here. I'll try to catch up. <laughs> um, you know, it was it, that, that. It's it's hard to keep up with. It's really difficult. For example, there's this one bit um, where they're just kind of uh, the main the main lady. Uh, as we say, played by played by Sheila Reagan, uh, played by Lena Turner. Yeah, I didn't know her name yeah. <laughs> because so they call her by different things. Her, yeah. her character is called Sheila Reagan, as I just said. Yeah, but they call her Red. They call her what's it? Flatbush. Yes, for some because, reason. No, Flatbush because she is from Flatbush, New York. Um, and she's a bit un. Uncl- she's a bit. Uh, she's not very yeah. classy, especially at the beginning. Oh yeah. So much to the point that I just started referencing her in my notes as the working class girl. Because I couldn't remember any of her names. <laughs> I think they even say in the synopsis they say working class girl. Like that's how much they, uh, they, they have faith in that role. And how you remembering her. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the, the poor girl. The poor girl. <laughs> the poor girl who doesn't know how to use uh, French words to other, other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it follows three women. That's the basic plot. It follows three women who all start out as at Siegfeld girls. Yeah. Or or the the fall the fall is that's the venue, and then the and, and it's okay for for the younger listeners. There was a thing back in back in the day called vaudeville. For uh, the younger listeners. Yeah. Right. Because vaudeville was like mid twentieth century. What what kind of age demographic were you normally pitching to? <laughs> I have a few forty-year-olds <laughs> that oh, are listening okay. to it, according to Google Analytics. So, oh, okay. so they might know what Wardwell is, but for those who don't, Wardwell was basically like a, a a mixture of different kinds of of theater, um, 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 sh- shows of strength, or or like it's a, it was like, a, a, and they were touring through the states and going from theater to theater to put on their shows and segments could be like two minutes long but they could also be like 20 minutes long what will was very weird they they, was very open form but it was this starting plot platform for a lot of big actors later on in the when when hollywood really became big Mm. like the 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 uh, the marx brothers for example started out in vaudeville and then turned to tv uh tv to movies Groucho Marx especially, yeah. Which I suppose is pretty and much the theme of this movie. It's about it's about uh, actresses who are doing this this vaudeville act, yeah. and uh, it's about the, th- the three main trajectories their career can go, mm-hmm. whether it be uh, uh, their careers can be in lights, you know, their name in lights and they're in the newspaper and really famous, uh, or they could quit and then have a family and kids, 
or they can just I don't know what the it was it was just kind of they uh, faint a lot uh, get, <laughs> faint a lot get yeah. turned uh, really drunk all the time and then by the end get really depressed <clears throat> yeah that was that was essentially it yeah exactly um, so I don't know how 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 we. Okay, yeah, so the conundrums are, are very similar, though, because they are all involving men to a certain degree, and all, except for, I guess, Judy Garland's character. Well, that has men in it. Yeah, her I dad. Guess. Her dad. But they had the sweetest and most stable, like, oh, relationship. Yeah, they, they, they were the most wholesome. Yeah, they were, like, the, the ones that are untainted by the... But a business, basically, and kept going and striding for more. And that apparently translates to, oh, you're going to be the star now yeah. from, from, for, the, for, for the Siegfeld girls and you get top billing. That was the end, basically. And it, <laughs> it's very tragic in certain, certain ways, if you really think about it. But we were slamming this movie the whole way through. It was, like, it was, it was, it was good. Yeah. Let let okay Kinda. no no you you they're in chronological order right the, yes the, okay they are, let, of let's course. go through a few few of your the one-liners that you wrote down so the audience gets a, a bit of a taste of the movie let's do you you are an actor right. let's let's do a dramatic reading okay well the first one I've got on my list uh -huh. is um the character the character working class girl mm -hmm. at the beginning of the movie she's talking about the people who run the company. Uh, the the vaudeville act. Yeah, and she's talking to her to her boyfriend, played by the marvelous James Stewart of of A Wonderful Life fame. Was it? He's at the top of the list. Oh yeah, yeah, Gil. G uh, sorry, Gil yeah, Gil Gilbert Young. Yeah, <laughs> uh, also known as Gil in this movie. Yeah, um, I've just listed him as James Stewart because I couldn't remember. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I remember because he's now uh, Gil the gangster. Ah, right. Yeah. Of course. Uh, the rolls off the tongue, so <laughs> it's it's the it's the it's the alliteration. Yeah, that gets you. Yeah, and he sleeps with the fishes sometimes. Did he sleep Gills. with any fish? Gills. Uh, oh god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a setup or a good pun. It no, was <laughs> it was. But when are they ever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> you can't deny that. <laughs> well, you laughed. That, that, that's, that's you laughed at several of them. Define laughing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. So but no, uh, yeah. one of my favorite one of my favorite ones is she's being hit on, and then she's telling her boyfriend who is being a bit moody about it. And she just goes, "I thought he was just being fresh, so I was being fresh right back." <laughs> Which I think fresh came back around the nineties. Yeah. So you know, a word sake. Fresh circle. Prince of uh, Bel Air. So around two thousand forty. There's going to be a resurgent in, in the word fresh, I think. Oh, nice. Which I can't wait for. Oh, yeah, because we can then, as old people, be like, Oh, man, we used to say fresh and it meant something. Do you remember that movie, Julie Garland? <laughs> fresh. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's also, a going back to the, the power couple that is Julie Garland and her father. Yeah. They're being split up at the beginning of the movie because Julie Garland's set to be a star, but her father, who's her coach, he's just not quite good enough in the eyes of of the Siegfeld. Uh, well, the Siegfeld branding was hot guy, one hot guy, and a bunch of hot girls. He was a hottie. Huh? He was a hottie. Don't get the, me wrong. The, yeah, yeah I mean, but you he know, looked for 19, 60, yeah, for nineteen. <laughs> For a 42-year-old... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, 42, as he for said. A, for a 42-year-old, he looks horrifying. <laughs> he looks ho He looks like he has several types of cancer <laughs> for a 42-year-old. Like, he, he is... He, He's been on the drink and just hasn't stopped. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he started as a 3-year-old. No, he started in utero. <laughs> like, he, he had, like, a little bottle of whiskey as a, as a child, as, as, a, as, a, as a fetus. Yeah. Well, he coined the wonderful term, yeah. a rat is like a snake, cut it in half, and both halves wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get that in movies anymore. Yeah. Also, that, uh, that doesn't work at all. It is specifically for their act that it works. Because if you split... I, no, I, no, seriously. If you split up 
Star Wars so that Darth Vader doesn't show up anymore and you have Star Wo Darth Vader just the scenes with Darth Vader <laughs> in a different movie it wouldn't work well he's not going to be in Gilmore Girls he's going to be alright <laughs> he could be the father in Gilmore Girls <laughs> or the father's father in this case <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of <laughs> I thought you were going to make more of a, a, a literal translation of if you cut a snake in half they die. <laughs> it stays also, with one snake. Yes. Yeah, that's only true for what? Worms? Some types of worms? I you don't can even think that's half. the case. I the think they still just die. <laughs> the, I think the moral is mainly, if you cut a living thing in half, <laughs> it's probably going to die. He said to wiggle, which doesn't imply... Livelihood, it just means, <laughs> oh, you're in the throes of death. Then it's not exactly a good analogy, then, is no, it? No, it isn't! That's my <laughs> point! That's my fucking point! The dad had the worst ones. He's there were way, way better ones. Hit me with another one. Come on, come on, come Fine, on. This, hang on. This movie is we're amazing. Going, we're going on to page two here. Yeah. Here's my favorite one. This is the one that stopped us both. Mm -hmm. We both actually had to stop the movie. Yeah. He said... You sound like a bottle of milk that's just been certified. <laughs> there was no context to this line. <laughs> it didn't make sense. It was it maybe was, if it just it, maybe it was like you just got your stamp of approval, but you are just still freshly mi milked cow, uh, milked cow. You uh, freshly the milked. To, the context of the scene yeah. was that. She had, uh, she being um, the working class girl. Yeah. <laughs> just got, she just got approval from her first act and her boyfriend is kind of jealous because yeah. she, he is poor as well. But there are men who are richer than him turning her head to which. <laughs> that wasn't amazing. To, to which he thinks that she is a bit like a milk bottle. <laughs> and he's, I, I suppose he's not wrong. I guess he's a, he's a bit more he's a bit more oh. on point than the wiggle and uh, uh, the uh, wiggle milk and bottles back then weren't resealable. Maybe it was a like a like a a, a a play on her virginity, like she's just been certified. The seal is on. You're looking too deep be, into it. I it think. could be popped at any moment. I'm always looking too deep in something. It's <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to make a horrible I anal joke, but <laughs> I could see it in your eyes. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I I don't want to brown nose the audience. Ooh, I've just got one just before that one. Someone likened her to, uh, or one of her benefactors, <laughs> to having more potatoes than Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho, the Idaho, potato state. <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone knows. If you go to Idaho... Idaho's favorite carbohydrate. Taters in Idaho. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta potato up. See, I don't know what that means. Huh? I don't know what, you, I don't know what that means either. It, isn't, it is a to reference to up. nothing. Basically. But I, I think it was kind of xenophobic because her father was Irish. <laughs> yes. So it's yeah. kind of... Because we, we don't know that until the next scene when he's all talking. He's an Irish police cop and you're like... <laughs> oh. Right, all right. That's why she's interested in potatoes. Also, we never know where something is, except when they are in New York. Like, when oh, they're yeah. on tour, you don't know if they're back in New York or on tour or what the fuck is happening. <laughs> like, you have no fucking clue here. But don't let us not sell the movie. It's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a good, yeah, good no, movie. No. I mean, we, it's just, it loses you sometimes. most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> And and then you have the dance sequences. Yeah. Dancing is a very, Prevalent very theme. strong word for it. I mean, uh, no, I mean, it was walking. dancing. Well, advanced right. walking. <laughs> advanced synchronized walking. That's what, that's what it was. But that is where the budget went. You can oh, see yeah. that's where the budget yeah. went. And they had a lot of it. I mean, it was 1941. Uh -huh. So for 1941, they had a lot to waste on dance sequences. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can tell it was America. Should we use that wood for, like, bombers and planes and stuff? Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We, we're going to use that to build a giant cake statue <laughs> and have 50 people stand on it, which is a hazard. 
that uh, no film producer nowadays would agree uh, with. <laughs> they were like, no, no, let's make it CGI. Let's make it G CGI. Just <laughs> we, we, we can't have you stand up there. If you tumble or something happens because the whole thing rotates... Did it rotate? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Some of them did. They yeah, have some of the stuff. They looked like they had to rotate. Or just the camera was just spinning slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't the know. The cameraman, which. like. <laughs> 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 oh, I set the setting oh. to 200 revolutions. <laughs> <laughs> and the fashion in those scenes was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. Yes. It was. All of them were more ridiculous than the next. Because mm -hmm. it was just like. It was kind of like a catwalk apart from downstairs. Oh, and yeah. Super steep, though. Super that, steep. That they was could've... insane. I'm like, holy fuck. How did nobody get hurt during the filming of this movie? <laughs> and how do you transport that shit? Because they had to... They, 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 like, there was a show every week. What will normally was like you were traveling and like hitting every city mm. and just perform there in a stadium. So they had to tear that whole thing down, move it to the next thing and build it up again. Or was that just in the foliage? Was it like a Ooh, I don't local know. They don't because tell they you. because they say they were touring, I think once or twice. Mm. But then they're back again and they're forty weeks well, deep into deep into a, a, a show. Thinking about it, did they say they were touring or was the violinist that we haven't mentioned touring? Ooh. He was touring. I know he was. Again, this movie is a bit confusing. There's a Just lot. Well, yeah. I mean, they don't explain their timeline very much. I don't no. know much about the um, about the uh, what was the movie called? The Siegfried Girls Cinematic Universe. <laughs> I love uh, that you had to look that up. <laughs> what was it called again? <laughs> it's. We've, I've been watching it for two hours <laughs> and ten minutes. Oh yeah, this movie is too long. By the way, it's pretty they, long. They should have cut like half an hour out of it. Um, Kept all the songs, though. Um, well, yeah, they did promise, because we watched the trailer before. Yeah. They promised ten songs. They had about five of them in one sequence. Yes. It was pretty it, They were good, though. There were yeah, some had, really good their... numbers in there. Mm. The, the, the Rainbow, I'm Always Chasing Rainbows. That one was great, the, the performance of Judy Garland. And, and they um, had that, yeah, yeah, Judy Garland. Yeah. She, she's... Because this is actually, I, I'm not sure if this is one of her first performances, but she's visibly very young. Yes. Yeah. She's, again, she's supposed to be playing a 17-year-old. I believe it. Yeah. She looks around that age. Yeah, you you have the same, same <laughs> uh, British gene, apparently, that keeps you young for a while and then turns you really old, like in a year or two. I, are, you, are you referring to me? Yeah. Uh, okay, so when you think it's my expiry date. I don't or know. Or do you think? Are you just saying I've just passed? I don't know how much, how much, how much you know, British you. How, how British I am. Yeah, exactly. I'm relatively British. Yeah, relatively. I yeah. Relatively, I guess. <laughs> but I, I have. I, I have a certain degree of incest <laughs> in my family. <laughs> I'm not from Norwich. <laughs> um. Boom! Slam Norwich. Yes, <laughs> that's what our, our podcast was missing. Norwich Some slams. Some Norwich slamming. Yeah, Norwich. More like no. Which should I go to? Uh, boom. Um, next one. <laughs> now, okay, now that was that was a pun you had to work for. I appreciate those. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. But no, um, it was uh, back to the costumes for a second because they had they were relatively normal. They were uh, you yeah. know they had the suits for the relatively men. Relatively normal. But for women, and there was gorilla arm lady in minute two. <laughs> Of the movie. Literally, it was a normal dress, except she had gorilla arms. Yes! <laughs> Without and the hands. It was just a fur. It was a fur coat that it was just hands. <laughs> and uh, just arms. And every Siegfried girl had to wear a dress that looked like it was some kind of rejected Ku Klux Klan <laughs> outfit. Gay Ku Klux Klan. Gay Ku Klux Klan Gay Ku Klux Klan outfit. The Glan. <laughs> we are from the Glan. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, we're not from the clan. No, we're not from the clan or the clan. <laughs> we can't be from the clan. We're not from the States. Yeah, we, we love Can Can too much to be part of the clan. Oh, God damn. <laughs> I need to stop giving you openings. Yeah. I, that <laughs> I need to stop spreading the cheeks and letting you in. <laughs> spreading the cheeks! <laughs> That would be something that would have been said in this movie. Oh, yeah, that's... Like, 
there were uh, there's so many what, good the one hot liners. little number. Oh yeah, they're constantly oh, yeah. Yeah, like a hot little number. number, a hot little number. Yeah, looks. Like, I'm really surprised that we didn't get one. Hey, I'm walking here. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. None Shut up on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mafia guys were also. Oh yeah, that, I want we, to, we didn't mention that, I but actually, there are mafia guys. Dude, I really would have loved to see his career, like Fallout. Which one? Gills. Oh yeah, as a gangster, of course. like his his exploits, because he starts off as a uh, like hauling bootlegged uh, uh, whiskey, basically, apparently, and then bootlegged the next whiskey, and the next thing, the next thing we see is him being already a made man, basically, for the you know what a made well, man that's, is. Well, that's kind of um, the problem with the movie in general is. They don't show the transition. For example, with working mm. class girl. Yeah. She's working class and then somehow time goes by and then she's rich and famous and has uh, an apartment with a maid. Yeah. And, you, and you're not sure how much time has passed because Gil walks in and the scene before they're all, you know, a couple and yeah. in love and everything. And then he walks in and he's kind of like, I have seen you on quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> God, I remember back when we were at the I don't know what what beach were they at? Coney Coney Island. Coney Island. Coney Island. We look back to, and then she's not having it because she's yeah. a bit she's a bit of a. <laughs> I want I want to, I want to swear, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to on this podcast. Oh, it's I uh, read it, man. She's a cunt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got so happy when I said I read it. You're like <laughs> yes, checkbox. I couldn't have said cunt too too, <laughs> too enthusiastically, could I? <laughs> Rubbing my hands together. <laughs> Under these conditions, <laughs> I can work. <laughs> so no kids are going to be listening? Huh? Uh, maybe. I don't uh, maybe, know. I don't give a shit. No, maybe somebody who's of age has it on and there's a kid in the room. I can't control that. Well, maybe like, That's maybe their, their fault. But, you know, whatever. Let's, let's continue. So... <laughs> If you're Again, under, we, if you're we, under 18, we covered please ask zero your percent permission. of the plot, but still, I feel like we covered all of it because there's. Well, we we is is there is there something else that you? Let me just kind of one second. Um, well, there's lots of like little small tidbits, like for example, the 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 rampant um, um, materialization of of of. Uh, uh, Lena Turner's character, a working, a working class, class lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very again when she's uh, in the scene I just described when she was living in the big house and with the Coney Island story with Gil. She decides this would be the best time to say, um, "Hey, now I've got lots of money. Isn't this great? Look, I want to I want to describe to you how great this is by showing you my shoe collection. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, and it's just it it really shows the characters. Re- Quickly became out of touch mm. with the people around her. Like the character is very. Uh, she has lots of visitings from her brother, who try and tries to get her to be, you know, as she was, I guess. Yeah. And she's just not having it. Um, there's this one scene, for example, where it all comes crumbling down. She's in a casino, mm. and the scene before this, Julie Gartland has for some reason done that crazy eyed thing that as you say Julie Garton does. Yeah, the kind of white eyes. eyes. Yeah. Um like, and she, like and somebody shoved a dildo up her ass <laughs> just in that moment and she's like, whoa <laughs> I'm ready to go <laughs> And she and she's talking to the the new, the, time. the new man in her life, the one that's courted her with like fancy gifts mm-hmm. and has convinced him to ask her to marry her. I, I asked to ask him to marry a uh, working class lady. Yes, the millionaire, yeah. And they go, all right, I'm going to ask her to marry her. And then the next scene is in a casino for some reason. Yeah. They're just at a casino. She's wasted as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, she's completely gone. Yeah. And he to which says, he I want to oh, offer yeah. my, 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 yes, one, my favorite line. Yes. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Did you write four pages? I've written quite a few. Oh, Wow. That's, that's, that, that's one of the most okay. intricate. Uh, it's not intricate. It's just me writing the one-liners <laughs> down. <laughs> that that means how 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 dense this movie is. <laughs> oh shit! Where is it? Um, there we go. She goes. Some guy called uh, I think it's Jimmy Walker. Yeah, it's there. 
And he starts talking to her about how her current boyfriend, oh, he's a headache. Is he going to be persistent by your side? And, and she goes, I'm 22 degrees colder than you think. Yeah. To which he responds, oh, you one of them refrigerator dames. And then leaves. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. She's... <laughs> the he's refrigerated amazing. dames. You're one of them refrigerated dames. And you, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then she comes out. She comes outside because Gil's outside with his mafia friends. And she starts putting that Coney Island shit because he, she realizes that he's rich now and she's getting wet over yeah. that. <laughs> um, which is... She's really shallow, if you didn't notice. Yeah. Um... And then he pulls this sort of, you know, he, he gives her the kiss and then just kind of says, now you know what it's like to be rejected. And then just slams her and walks away. While so, his three mafia buddies are or, waiting. Or as I've, as, as I've written here, are James in the Stewart car. gets them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's in the, like the three buddies are like, what are they doing over there? Like, hey, we're <laughs> waiting over here. That would have been the prime. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on over there? Yeah, Gilly, come on. Pick up the pace. <laughs> We're going to get some pasta. Linguini. Oh, that's but. racist. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, by the way, um, whatever Paul says on this podcast does not reflect my views or the views of any other comedian in, in or the re- Or the views of the podcast. Or the views of the podcast. Yeah. Just Paul's. This, this, is, is, this is... Paul's bona fide views. I don't want to break the fourth wall. So. <laughs> <laughs> but if I have to, I will. If I'm forced by a... I don't know. I'm trying not to acknowledge the shades you've put on, by the way. I just told that whole story while you, you put them on. You can counter shade, man. Fuck it. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Because uh, surprise segment. Oh. Surprise segment. Which is? You're gonna throw some shade in here. Ante. I'm taking these off. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there, there's some shade be, uh, being thrown in here. Oh, in there's this some movie. serious shade. Yeah. Like, the, the, the shade is crazy. Crazy shade. Like, um, um, yeah, you have the one-liners. You, you have written them all down. So, <laughs> hit, way, hit, uh, hit, hit. This actually isn't a shade one-liner, but I need to get it out. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> this is also what she said. This is coming from working class lady. The classic line, I get a bang out of you, you get a bang out, out of me. me. <laughs> and I think it's sort of like it was supposed to be in that time, sort of, ah, oh, I, I really enjoy your company. Yeah. You enjoy yeah. my company. Yeah. But okay. no, it doesn't work that way these days. <laughs> it could be, that could be the tagline of Bang Bros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The only thing missing here was... Uh, um, you you get a, a bang out of me, and I get a bang out of you, and a buck <laughs> for a bang. Oh, is that, is that, is that what it was? <laughs> no, but that was... I just say, I that thought, that did, was I inconsistent with my writing here? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, very immac- immac- immaculate. You, you, get, you get definitely an oh. A or an A+. Plus, Thank depending on, on, your, on your school performance through the rest of the year. <laughs> We're not sco- covering a schoolgirl report, though. So, um, so this, 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 the the, uh, the surprise topic, the shades. Yes, yes. The oh, shade yeah, right. I already forgot about the shades again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm keeping this thing together. Yeah, thank you, thank you for You're for hang- hammering down the the lingual nail <laughs> to, to make this ship float. Um, see, that was that was a beautiful beautiful analogy, right? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I need approval. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, for example, uh, at the beginning, uh, Hedy Lamar's character and France. France. <laughs> France. We totally forgot about France. France. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a stunning character. Yeah, France. and he, they are, they are a, a long-term couple. And she's, she's... They're married even, aren't they? Mm, yes, I think so. Yeah, I think they were married. Okay, um, but I could be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> uh, look it up on Wikipedia when yeah. you get the chance, guys. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, they were together, uh-huh. and 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 uh, she she. Oh, the, the intro to this segment was way funnier than <laughs> the actual. 
<laughs> the actual shade. Um, he, he, uh, um, he, he, uh, uh, why don't you take over? Yeah, yeah. Can take you not, form, can you not be, form your words? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back in a, in a quick second. Oh, you, so you're yeah. leaving, you're leaving me alone with your audience. Yeah, is that a good yes, idea? Yes, you have full power now. Okay, good. I'm formally declaring that uh, Jimmy now has full control over the podcast, and I hope he is doing the best he can in the next okay. 30 seconds to a minute. That's Wonderful. the maximum amount of time I'm allowing you to have. <laughs> I'll tell, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the story, the loving story of Franz. And everyone's favorite character, Hedy Lamar. Because um, Hedy to Hedy Lamar, she's also getting a job at Siegfeld's girl dancing thing. But guess who's not very approving, approving of this? That would be uh, your man Franz. He doesn't realize, despite the fact that they're quite poor, they, he, he just had to sell his violin. Which is a travesty because he's a violinist. How else is he going to play violin without a violin? You know what I mean? So she gets this job, which pays $75 a week, which, as Paul would say if he was here, is crazy money. <laughs> but for some reason, Franz, he's not very approving of this. He says, oh, my wife has a job? Oh, this is a disgrace to my people. Um, and I, I just can't do this. To which Hedy starts to realize that he, he doesn't trust her as she trusts him. And there's this really touching scene where they're having a fight and they realize that this relationship cannot go on any longer. And he leaves on her. He leaves and says, oh, I thought I wrote it down somewhere. <laughs> but you're doing so great, man. You, yeah, you're you, welcome. It, it sounds like a story hour with Jimmy. <laughs> 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 I, sh I should work for Audible. <laughs> Audible? Yeah. Audible, sponsored. Sponsored by Audible. Yeah, that's, not, not yet, but maybe. Also. <laughs> and Crunchyroll. Maybe, maybe, and Crunchyroll, and maybe uh, Johnny Walker. Maybe, maybe. And Movement what? Just, movement <laughs> what? Just, just stop listing things. <laughs> Blue Apron. Blue Apron, HelloFresh, Freshbox. Mac Weldon's. Let's just stop listing. <laughs> We're just giving free advertisement. Mac Weldon, you know where you are. Hit me up. Yeah, I yeah. need some new pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, uh, Razor Day. No, what's the what's clean oh, shave? Uh, uh, Harry's Razors. Harry's Razors. There yes, we go. Harry's Razors. Maybe. Why do I know all these We podcasts? both need a shave. Oh, yeah. Harry's Razors. See. Why don't you sponsor us? And I will always be clean shaven on camera. That's I'll, a promise. I'll actually, if they send foam, just wear the foam and just really advertise it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, just go, really go, go for that it. That would be great for the Santa Claus episode. Of course. I still have to find an Austrian, Santa Claus, an Austrian Santa Claus movie. <laughs> I haven't found yet, one yet. I found Santa Claus in Austrian movies, but not a Santa Claus movie. Because we have the Christkind here. Can't you just do Jingles All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Fuck, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's my favorite Christmas movie. Really? Yeah. It's, it's got the Put the, cookie Put the cookies down. down. No! <laughs> I need the Turbo Man. <laughs> He's got the Rackham Sackham jetpack. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and the goddamn minivan. <laughs> I, 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 apparently, I really tried to shoehorn Arnie into anything. See, would Arnie be great in Sigfield I, Girls? Oh, he would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so pretty. I'm walking down the stairs. Our act is like a snake. <laughs> Cut it in half and hope both halves squiggle. That's the, that totally would be an Arnie line. <laughs> yes, let's do some one-liners as Arnie. You got a bang out of me, I got a bang out of you. <laughs> you sound like a bottle of milk that's just been certified. <laughs> He's got more potatoes than Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was listening through uh, Podcast 50 mm -hmm. with Jack And yeah. he explicitly said that you couldn't do Arnie until another day <laughs> This is that day, my friend Yes, high five Ah, oh, so good uh. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> This is derailing so much uh, I love it uh, Yeah, we're not really on topic No, really. no, no, we're totally, but, totally not on topic we're, we're the opposite of hot topic <laughs> We're not topic we, we still haven't really given much shade 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we put on the shades, took them off, and yeah. now we're on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so, yeah. Potatoes, potatoes. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers to that. Oh. Oh, a moment of silence. <laughs> um, nothing's, nothing plays better on a podcast than oh, a of moment course. of silence. Well, they could, they could hear the drinking, the sipping, they've got the cheers, they know the context. Oh, yeah, that's They're true. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're drinking along with us at home. Oh, and, 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 and oh, one thing um, that, I, that I really loved about Hedy Lamar's story, it was f- f- Frank or Franz <laughs> that she had to decide between. I know, it's, and, it's wonderful. And she wrote Fran into the sand <laughs> and Frank shows up and he's like, you need a lesson in English or something? <laughs> And then puts a K down, just that, kinda, yeah. that's how this word is finished. Yeah, and, and, and he puts, but he puts a little space between Fran and the K. For so some she reason. can fill in a C because she's like, that's how it's supposed to be. So <laughs> now it's just, it just says Franz. <laughs> that was amazing. And, and you're just like, why did they leave this? I mean, it was so good. Oh, this movie is, this movie, like, I covered a lot of 1930s and 1940s now, <laughs> uh, movies now, well, a lot, a few yeah. of them, a handful, and, and, and this movie so far has the most resembling a hot fever dream, <laughs> like a fever dream where not, where weird shit happens, but most of it is sexually arousing for some reason. Because uh, well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, most of it's sexually arousing. I mean, <laughs> when Julie Garland's father came on, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you. That's when, you. when he when he that's was doing that colonialism see, bit. Yeah, my you, my 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 panties rocked. <laughs> your knickers, my knickers, in, your, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't think we we covered the plot at all yeah at all yeah basically uh one of my favorite uh, one of the best bits really but we, we should cover that at best moment wouldn't you mind I or wouldn't, i wouldn't call it the actually it would be a contender yeah see see come see? back come so, back after the so break let's, let's move on to cinematography so by cinematography yeah do you want us to cover the kind of shots there were because I'm being honest, there wasn't much variant. Yeah, that's true. That's like true. But but we have a few moments that were pretty cool that even you found cool. Like the coral bit. The coral bit was cool. Yeah. To describe the coral bit. Yeah, describe uh, the, a was, visual thing. Like was, always uh, first on this first of all, I can't remember what the thing before it was. I think I wrote down something to do with the coral bit. Hang on, because I remember it because I wrote down the word fish. <laughs> there, no, I just wrote fishbowl transition, so that doesn't help. No, uh, no, the, okay, but, so, so... Yeah, you got it. Or right, I've got it. One, one, got one it. girl has a, a ton of fish sewn into her, her clothing and, some, uh, and a snail on her head and they're moving... <laughs> no, no, fuck. No, no. Yeah, she doesn't... No, 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 no. Okay, there was a, a guy on a ship and uh, Hedy Lamar was la- laying down on the ship and then it, the camera moves down and then you have an aquarium and it moves into the aquarium and then you have corals, and then it transitions from the corals into the corals, which are the headdress of a, a lady. I think now I got it. I think you find it was like a sort of a that arm, was that was, was hardcore thing. That was hardcore. But it was pretty damn cool. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. It was. It was one of. It was one of many. It was a Great scenes. Barrier Reef thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the theme of this. Of this, yeah. this the great. This, the, this movie was sponsored by by Greenpeace. <laughs> great Barrier Reef. By by Greenpeace. <laughs> Greenpeace and... and the it, it's as if the director... What, uh, scroll back up, I need to see his name again. <laughs> what was his name? It was, it Busby, was, uh, Busby, Bur- Busby Berkeley. There yeah. we go. It was as if he went to visit the Great Barrier Reef recently and thought, yeah. oh, this is hot as fuck. I need to write a thing about this. Mm-hmm. And he did. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and to his he credit... Got it in. He got it in. To his credit, he... he Put a lot of fish and coral yeah. on some on some on some ladies, yeah. On some ladies from the forties. Yeah, yeah. And Work, it was, worked out great. It was Oh, it, by the way, not for also that's kind of visual. No diversity at all. This is 
as white as it gets in a black and white movie. There was, this is a white and white movie. This there was a <laughs> song about Trinidad <laughs> yeah. without any black representation. It was just Judy Garland yeah. walking around <laughs> singing about how great Trinidad is. Where in Trinidadian clothes. especially. Yeah, 1941, Trinidad was blazing, man. Oh, yeah, it was, it was the place to be, apparently. Yeah. And, it was and the there bomb. Was, there was a man dressed as a Mexican who was probably the darkest-skinned yeah. person there. And, ju- and he was creeping up, like, because you, you were looking away from the, camera, uh, the, the thing at this point. But he was creeping up yeah. on, on, on Julie Garland. Julie Garland looks at him, then looks at the camera, exasperated, wide-eyed, just kind of like, ah! And then they just carry on as if nothing happened. Yeah, because she's the hottest thing in Trinidad. How is my Trudy Garden impression, by the way? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Is that how yeah. That would... You have a similar f- facial feature. <laughs> is, it, is, it the, is it the stubble? <laughs> Mostly the stubble. But also the childlike demeanor. The childlike demeanor. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I take the compliments that I can get. Childlike demeanor, take. I too, in about 20 years, can run away from the Nazis as part of a singing family troupe. <laughs> and wasn't she also Mary Poppins? Or was that someone else? She, I think it was her. I have no fucking clue right now. She was Mary Poppins and she Wait. was there with Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke was... And was he was a- like, oh, I'm a... Not a plumber. The other one, chimney sweep. The other one. The other <laughs> manual labor. Her, her top four movies are Wizard of Oz, Meet Me in St. Louis, A Star is Born, Born and Easter Parade. She's been doing stuff since 2017. When did, is she still alive? The Wizard of Lies. I think she... No, she's not alive. <laughs> Then why? Like she's she, she's in, she, she died in 1960. She died apparently she's young. done two movies this year, of according to IMDb. Di- of course she died in England. Of co- well, yeah. <laughs> what, what is that? That's where everyone goes to die. Yeah, in Chelsea especially. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she's got quite the. She's had quite the life. Yeah. In in the in the 21st century, she's done about. Crazy. She's been, All right, we are getting distracted by Judy Garland here. So uh, well, we didn't find out Cinematog- she did Mary. No, never no, mind. No, never mind. Never mind. Um, so we. Um, <laughs> I keep derailing you. I'm so sorry. Yes, cinematography. Oh, uh, there was quite a few scenes, especially near the end, when they really when because I think they realized because in the advert they promised ten songs. Yeah. But and, and with then about they blasted with, them with out. about twenty minutes to go, they realized that they only played four. <laughs> <laughs> so they just kind of did six in quick succession. Yeah. Which was great, and they did this kind of weird transition where there was like they got this curtain. Yeah. And they moved it across, except. It was, and they, they just they, kept they, on doing they, it. Like they, they cut up the frame in slices, the frames in slices, and moved them successively because it wasn't a real transition from one scene to the other. The curtain was just pasted in. Yeah. And that looked that looked fake as shit. But I loved it because I'm like, oh man, they, they didn't have CGI. They didn't have anything else to work with. They, this was it. A, 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 somebody in a basement slicing up hundreds of curtain pieces to paste them onto onto a fucking uh, film frame to be copied and then uh, spliced into the real movie again. Like, that's a fucking commitment right there from a technical standpoint. Oh, of that's course. just a lot of elbow grease to make that, to, to make that shot. Because they, they could have, I don't know, not done that. Fade to black, next scene. No, yeah. they had somebody, <laughs> an intern... An unpaid intern probably had to do that. In the yeah, in the film's defense, we've been giving it a lot of uh, a lot of stick for comedic reasons. Yeah, but there was definitely a lot of care that went into this movie. Oh yeah, like, there's a lot. There's lots of little niggles. For example, um, the the set change, the diversity of set that was there. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the set pieces during the songs were amazing. Yes, and the uh, the, the they still look great today. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, if you if you if I saw this on stage. Yeah, I'd be blown away. Yeah, easily. I mean, it's it's it was a uh, definitely a uh, uh, the movie's the movie's strong Dude. point was its its glamour glamour yeah which they referenced like twelve times in the movie saying oh, yeah. glamour and how glamorous girls Sigfield girls are glamour girls and glamour girls are the girls to be basically. yeah it's, it's it's a very empowering feministic message yeah undercut 
massively <laughs> through the movie itself. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's still 1941. Like <laughs> it's feministic for the 40s. Like, yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> as feministic as the 40s can be. Yeah, you can have a job, but that job is being a mother in the end. For well, example. Uh, yes, and like because for example, with going away from cinematography again. Yeah. But going back to it, there was it was definitely feministic because or. or, or Yes, because they, they had these, they had, movie. They, they had, they had, <laughs> they had, they had these pushes of of females trying to break out of of the house uh, housewife role, mm-hmm. and men trying to put, like for example, France trying France. to France trying to keep um, uh, Ms. Lamar mm-hmm. in such a role, which she doesn't want to be, but then eventually she finds out she does want to be, so it kind of undercuts I the message. I still think but, she really wanted to bang. Uh, Frank's, Frank's wife. I think she wanted to bang Frank's wife. Well, yeah, there was definitely oh, off set, off camera. She probably yeah. banged Frank's wife. Oh, God damn it! Why wasn't there TMC back then? <laughs> like the Hedy Lamar stories, we would have get, gotten now. If only because she had because, Snapchat. No, he, she, she would have been like, how many count down the the bis, openly bisexual women that are grade A. Stars. Was she openly bisexual? No, 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 no. wasn't was illegal back then. Was it illegal back yeah. then? Yeah. To a oh, certain well, I guess degree. It was America. Yeah. No, it was Euro- Europe as well. Like Austria till I think the sixties, early sixties, um, still had officially, uh, mm-hmm. I think, three months of prison for for homosexual inter- relationships. 20th century was a weird time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I'm so happy I wasn't alive back then. Even though you said you were... You, you said to me, oh, you, it would be great for you to be living in 1941 in that oh, movie. Oh, you were loving it. You were, lo- <laughs> you were, you were at these wonderful things going, oh, yeah, this is great, amazing. Oh, this is, this is the best time I've ever had in my life. Uh, no, you have the, the time of your life with this movie. <laughs> You wanted to be there, all up, all up in Julie Garden's grill. The time of my copyright infringement, and I owe it all to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh that was stupid. All right, so <laughs> back to cinematography. There was there was uh, some transition shots, uh, not transition shots, but shots that I really liked, where they went to a black silhouette, mm. where they first had the properly lit scene and then like instead of a fade out like a lazy fade out to black they had this silhouette first and that i thought was visually quite intriguing still Mm. i I just it just looks beautiful it has been done before it has been done since but it's still very professional and i just like the way it works no of course the characters it was definitely uh it stood out visually. Yeah. I mean, despite the fact, because if we didn't mention before, uh, even though it's the obvious, amount of glitter. <laughs> it's it's a black and white film, of course. Yes, and um, four by three. So not white screen. Yeah, yeah. but it was still uh, visually. It stood out visually that the, the silhouettes they made a good sort of impression on the brain. Yes, I guess it really yeah. it cemented the scene that they were going for. I know it was uh, just you know it was for the whole act sort of thing the 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 play within the movie well, not the play but the 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 what was it called the the show within the, the movie will the vaudeville perform, show within the movie yeah. but it it really felt authentic i guess to to, to stage mhm um and that that helped by the, the that was helped by the cinematography because they kind of gave you especially in those scenes kind of the the most of the time the shots were as if you were in the audience, I guess, a yes. lot of the time. I mean, it yes. cut to zooming, uh, not zooming in, but to sort of close up to mid shots of, of certain women. Yeah. But for the most part, it was as if you were in the audience. And yeah. I thought that was quite cool. Yeah. It's also what, you know, it is kind of sarcastic in a way because Wardville died because of cinema. Because people just realized, oh, we can just stay in one place, film one bit after another and sell it to a thousand theaters mm. instead of going from one theater to another to perform that show. And then especially with the introduction of sound, 
it was really done for what will like what will died in a few years um, then. yeah i mean i'm not sure and this it's it's weird to have a what will show in a movie in a movie because that's like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> a butcher wearing a, a a cow skin and like ooh, Look how fancy I am! I <laughs> Look mean, at the back at the times when we were alive. Ooh. I mean, the the cultural the cultural change yeah. is is good because well, not good necessarily. I mean, there's a, definitely a cultural divide between what uh, vaudeville was yeah. and I say what replaced what replaced it. Cinema is yeah. now. I mean, you wouldn't have got an emoji movie. <laughs> Back then, <laughs> a I mean, will emoji. I would love it. Would uh, personally, if there's a, if the, if someone if a theater comes out yeah. with a emoji movie the musical, uh-huh. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there easily. Shout out to the emoji movie and Sony <laughs> Animation Pictures, uh, sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> Emoji Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Despicable Movie Three. Yeah, <laughs> god damn it. And Minions Eighteen. What's coming out at the moment? <sighs> uh, Bullshit. I don't know. I mean, Dunkirk was all right. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. It was. I liked it. And Sp- yeah. uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming is also a, a, uh-huh. a movie. Yes, a movie. It would have made a great vaudeville. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I watched Free Fire. That was the last movie I watched, and that one was great. Really good. Okay, no, actually, Sorry, the last yeah, movie going, is Six Filled Girl. We should remember the movie that we just watched. Uh, you went in the cinema. Yes. Of course. All right. I think we're done with the visual stuff. And let's move on to... to Sound. Speak a little bit about sound. All right. Um, yeah, what, what, what did you think? Because for a 1940s movie, I, it was notice, noticeably crisp. It oh, was yeah. good, no, yeah. like because uh, of course there's lots of music and dance and well not yeah. dance isn't like you know, a, and uh, it's all with a, a sound vital, stage. Yeah, what I mean, recorded. yeah, what I mean is it, because of all the singing and music, is definitely the uh, uh, a big focus of this movie. Yeah. was on sound. Mm. Um, Even if it, it is mono, it isn't stereo, but still it it's it pops. Oh yeah, yeah, especially I think. Even though, hmm, kind of weird, the Trinidad music part was amazing. That was... I, I, I. <laughs> uh, sorry, could you... I, I didn't quite hear you. Could you no, sing, no, could no, you no, sing no. it for me? No, no, no. I, 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 I just can't remember the beat. <laughs> Please. Chick, chick-a-boom, chick, chick-a-boom. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> Julie Garland at the mic. <laughs> Dropping some dope rhymes. <laughs> Got a got Lyme disease up in here. What's Lyme disease? <laughs> Do you mean scurvy? Are you going no, for scurvy? Lyme disease. You get that from ticks. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want a refill? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Since I'm going to be spending however much time with you. <laughs> you are imprisoned here now. <laughs> You're part of. You're now a fixture of the of the. This actually FFP podcast. It's, it's actually not as bad as I thought because when I saw you about a week ago, because uh, I, I met up with with Paul about a week ago to discuss like because we don't we need to yeah. make a timetable. Yeah. And he said to me, "Okay, so what do you want to watch? Uh, do you want to watch porn or?" And then just stopped <laughs> as if that was the only thing that could come to his mind. Most people say yes at that point. <laughs> well, they just. Kind of <laughs> I like cause, because I've listened to the, as I've said, I've, well, as I told them, I've listened to a couple of the beginning ones and the end ones for context, you know, because I, I've been trying to get a view on the, con- of the podcast. You're the most well-prepared co-host I've thank, thank you very much. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm very glad to have you here. And the beginning ones is very much in detail, in depth of the sound, the cinematography, the plot. And then you get near the end, it's just kind of, so what did you think of the gyrating of the dick? It was... It was <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that the close-up on the vagina was too necessary, but, you know, <laughs> you, you, what, what can you do? Yeah, you, you, you eat what you get. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an, it's an amazing... It's a roller case. It's a roller coaster. Going a through, roller yeah. case? Roller coaster. A roller coaster of, of bad examples. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, yeah. Um, there, there, there's, there's the, the one thing that... 
stood out from the sound standpoint, except for the songs, was that one bit at the end where she's basically consumed by having no heart, according to the doctor. <laughs> the doctor in the movie literally said she doesn't have a heart. I think you need some, uh, they need some reference for this. No. <laughs> at but the end of the movie. Yes. She's sad because she gets... Working class she gets, girl. Yeah. yeah, working class girl, sorry. She gets turned as fuck mm -hmm. and gets drunk um, and she goes on stage despite the fact that she was told not to and yeah. passes out and she gets fired because yeah. of this. And then suddenly she's homeless mm. and she meets the guy who calls her a refrigerator dame yeah. at the end of the movie. And he Brilliant says... Brilliant callback by the movie, by and the way. And he says, so girl, you warmed up yet? <laughs> And then she yeah. and then he buys her a beer, mm. and they go to a, a special booth. She tries to take take a sip of the beer, and then he goes into a rage and says, "You think you can just drink my beer?" Yeah. And then slaps. No, no, her. You, you didn't like me as a rich person. You you, and you don't like me as a tramp, but you do like my beer or something like that. And then then yeah, he's and he then he slaps, slaps her yeah. in the face. Like, yeah. And then she. It looks like she dies. She, <laughs> she, it looks like she dies multiple times. Three times, three or four times. It looks like she dies. I'm like, we both like we're calling it. Like, <laughs> just is she, is she dead? dead? Is, is she, she dead? Is she dead? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get this movie. <laughs> and then Gil, yeah, James Stewart comes to her house, mm. which she's now living back in her poor house in Brooklyn. You with her family. You, and he goes upstairs to give her soup, um, to which he gets the news. As Paul said, that the doctor says she's got no heart. <laughs> <gasps> we forgot about the duck business. I'm, ge well, I'm we getting to the duck business. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm ducking out now and you can continue. <laughs> okay, good pun. Sure. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I um, think I'm destroying my future with this. <laughs> To it. Somebody's referencing this in the future at a future trial against my crimes against humanity. You're, you're gonna be. Uh, he he uh, murdered millions of people, but he also was shit at doing puns. <laughs> Here's an excerpt for the uh, for the jury. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. for example, he goes up to her and she's like dying in bed because she's got no heart for some reason. Mm hmm. <laughs> and shit doctor. And, <laughs> and shit doctor. he decides because she won't eat her soup, right? Because yeah. when you don't have a heart, you, no, no, you she, can't she's, just eat soup. Uh, I think she's in a weird frame of mind where she still thinks that she's employed because one of the themes was her watching her weight a lot. Oh, is that the thing? Yeah. I thought it happened multiple times in the show that she was forced to. Not yeah. eat or eat something. I didn't. I, I didn't think that was the thing about the soup. I just think no, no, she... because because the mom said she says she has to watch her diet. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that I think was a callback to that that she thinks that she still is gonna be a sick filled girl. Well, this yeah. is near the end of the movie, so clearly mm -hmm. you're paying a lot more attention than I was. Yeah. <laughs> You were already phasing out. I was just I was <laughs> like, gone with it. Like, I didn't understand what was going on because then some really quiet, whispered monologue comes on and James Stewart <laughs> is just like, so I bought a farm and we're going to raise ducks. We're going to raise ducks, we're working class lady. We want to raise... And, and she's, she's like, like, I don't, she, I don't like even, ducks. <laughs> I don't even like ducks. I don't care. You're going to love the ducks. You're going to love the ducks. And it's gonna be great. And then she, but then she's, and the, to the to to the credit of the movie, she says, uh, "Can I visit Forty Second Street? Or what about Forty Second Street? How far that, what, would that be away?" And he's like, "One or two hours." And he's like, "You can always be in Forty Second Street, and you can always raise ducks. I don't mind as long as I'm with you, basically." And that was a really sweet moment, I think, from from his part, because he's like, "Oh, your dream is still to be on stage and everything." It was, I will support that. It was definitely a really sweet scene. It was definitely, yeah. as quiet as it was and as checked out as I was becoming. And it was him definitely, feeding the, her the soup. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a very caring scene. It was definitely mm. a... Uh, redeeming it, scene. Yeah, I guess For redeeming both. scene. Um, she, as I said, she was a character. She's supposed to be the cautionary tale. Yeah. Um, so it was nice that she got a relatively nice end. 
We well, still almost. Don't know, we still don't know if she died or not. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Because she, <laughs> there's a really weird cut again because yeah. it goes from this loving, tender scene. And it's really oh. lovely and you, you're really feeling for the characters and you're thinking, okay, these characters aren't so bad. Yeah. And then it cuts to this scene of Julie Garland's father dressed at a, as a colonialized, you know, one of the colonialism yeah. guys. One of the colonialism guys? <laughs> one of your fault. One of the colonialists. What, one of your, your fault. Colonial, yeah. Colonialists. You got it. Colonialists. And he's, and he's just... Colonists. And he's just hitting off one-liners. Yeah, Can't, yeah. He's on stage, and I am an idiot because I didn't write any of them down, <laughs> but he's hitting off one-liners yeah, 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 suddenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah about, about the princess and uh, them paying her, like millionaires paying her uh, a lot of money, and he's like, uh, the one other guy is like, because she's so beautiful or something like that, and then she's like, and he's like, no, because they want her to shut her mouth or something like that. <laughs> it sounds less funny now. <laughs> <but> <laughs> and you have to watch the act. Yeah. You have to watch the act to, to, to get it. But to get to back to the sound thing that I was getting to, she, she rises up basically one more time, working class girl, rises up one more time to see the Siegfeld girls perform. And... The dramatic mm. music started, starts up while she's getting up, and but that's already part of the act of the next scene. <laughs> and it was just so dramatic, like, like, a, like a, I don't know, 136 hours or something like that, where <laughs> she's like gnawing off her own leg to get to the performance or something like that. And then she walks down the fucking stairs and collapses like a, like a bitch. <laughs> And um, yeah, I mean, um, to give a tiny bit more context about the uh, the, the staging, that's <laughs> sure. Just c coming sure. back to it, um, I just like that's the, the the I guess the the finishing arc that they were trying to portray at the beginning. Yeah. As I said, a man talks to them about the three types of women that come to vaudeville. Yeah. Or at the uh, Siegfeld, and yeah. that's the one who gets the name in lights, the one who gives up to have a family, mm -hmm. and the one who just gets. Completely wrecked. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, Working Class Girl is the wrecked one. Julie Garland, this is actually her show. It's like her name is the one. That she's the, yeah, yeah, she's she, the big at name. At the end. At, at the, the end. end. This yeah. is the show that she wanted to watch at the end. It's Julie Garland's show. She's the one who made, her, made a name for herself. she had so much pull that she could get her father on to make that weird colonialist thing. It went thing. well. People laughed in yeah. the audience. Yeah, yeah, no, but they were stumped at first. Like, we were here to see hot chicks. What happened? <laughs> and hot dude. Hot dude. Hot chicks, but hot dude. Oh, he's a, he is a, he's a hot a boy. He's, a, he's the hunkiest man. Um, and then, of course, you have um, uh, uh, Lamar's character being the third character, the one who gives it up for family. Yeah. She um, stays with Franz. Sandra she, stays with Franz. Sandra yeah. stays with Franz. Um, Franz. She decides that Franz is what she's been looking for this entire time. Yeah. Buys back his uh, his violin now that she's rich mm -hmm. and goes on tour with him. Yeah. Um, which is and stops her career. And stops her career, which is which is which is touching. Um, in, a, in a way. In a way. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Um, you have the freedom to do whatever you want, especially during the war effort. <laughs> France is ge definitely getting interned, so <laughs> they never say their nationalities, by the way. Oh no, they just never refer to them as European. Uh, like, <laughs> do they even refer to them as European? In the in the synopsis, they do. So well, they well okay. But in, in, the so movie, in the movie, it's really ambiguous. They don't yeah. mention anything about these people yeah. there, and that's there part are some of the sound too because Hedy Lamar has a very subtle accent very subtle accent like I pointed it out to you and you had to listen for it yeah yeah and then um, you're like oh yes yes <laughs> there's some thank you for that awesome impression of me that you just did <laughs> oh yes 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 oh, very well yeah oh, yeah, uh, oh, yes. oh yeah master she <laughs> definitely does have an accent oh yes yes <laughs> Like a, like, a, like a Spanish maid. <laughs> si. Oh, si, si, senor. senor. She definitely does have the accent. <laughs> si, si. We're not, we're not doing nope, this. Nope, nope. 
I have a viewership in, in Mexico, so I shouldn't... Do I we? Should, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't bang on about it. Hello, Mexico. Yeah, they really love the all? sissy movies. Um, yeah, what is your main demographic for this show? Uh, Austrians. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, stupid question. Yeah, but it's then it's... Sometimes it's Mexico, sometimes it's the United States, sometimes it's Germany. Switzerland is all the way back down there. They don't give a fuck about Austrian <laughs> movies, apparently. I, didn't th- I read somewhere that you said that India is quite... Yeah, 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 yeah. India was hot for a minute, yeah, for a while. Uh, and Indone- then they just, Indone- talked, they just Indone- lost Indonesia interest. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go back. Sorry, this is I, I'm already, so this, sorry. This I keep al- on, I keep on. This is already an hour and nine minutes long. Um, let's let's go on to our best moments. What was it? you held back on the best moment? So now is now is your chance, man. It's the slap. It's got to be the slap. <laughs> it's because it basically puts her into a coma. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Uh, this is the, as, as I was talking about before, this is Refrigerator Man, mm-hmm. uh, the second scene he's in, where he's bought, he bought her a drink. He's stuck to freeze. <laughs> I've come I in. have a cold why, slap for you. Why don't you cool off? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody freeze. Anyway. Yeah. No, right. nine minutes. <laughs> One hour nine. Okay, so, uh, um, Dr. Freeze. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Um, he's freeze. He 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 gets her alone, buys her a drink. Yeah. But he doesn't want her to have the drink, and yeah. he says something along the lines of what you, I said. Uh, yeah, before, what you yeah. said. And you can't drink my beer. <laughs> and then she tries to leave, and then he stands up for. Uh, wait, going back a little bit. For some reason, he's <laughs> now got a fucked up ear. Yeah. That's not really explained. He's just got a like a burnt ear or something. No one. No, no one discusses no, it ever no, again. No. Or how he got it. Maybe that was a, a thing the mafia did back then to but people. But he was part of the mafia. No, no, he. So he was gambling. So probably he lost his fortune there, and then the mafia. He borrowed mom, m- money from the mafia, and they torched his ear. But or this something. is just you adding, <laughs> adding a plot. subplot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm adding like. Five different subplots to this to make they, sense of the they, fucking movie. They do movie. kind of make you fill in the gaps. Yeah, yeah. But and as Just I was saying, logic and, jumps. So she tries to leave the room, and mm-hmm. he gets up and goes something along the lines of, "No," <laughs> and then just slaps yeah. her around the face, yeah. and she just dies. Just there, she passes out. Uh, and that's the first instance in which she dies. She dies multiple times in yeah. this movie, near yeah. the end. Uh, the, the last of which she dies on the stairs, as you mentioned. And which... that's not even a, a spoiler, because we don't even know if she's dead or not. Yeah, she, yeah, I mean, she wakes up, I guess, but she's like, you know, on the... She looks, she sounds like she's on the cusp of death. Yeah. And then uh, Miss Lamar is there, and she's like, oh, are you okay? And then she says, we're going to get a duck farm. And then that's just the end of that scene. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. And then she's never seen again. Yeah, gone. She's gone. Just gone. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Um, for me, the best moment I think was the first time that Judy Garland's character uh, gets the lesson from her dad about being more energetic, and then oh, yeah. she pops off a number. And that one was really good. It was like pretty, the, it was pretty the full energy thing, and because the rest of the perf- the sequel performances, they are unique and great in their own, but but they do have the same theme of slow singing and everything. Everything is very very uh, uh, smooth and 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 clean and and pure. And everything mm. like that with the lots of white and everything and white ladies and white dudes. Like, it's very white on white on white on white. You know, when I say this movie is white, I mean hella white. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like Bristol meetup uh, for the disenfranchised middle aged man. It's going to be very white. <laughs> is that a good Bristol reference? I don't know. I've never been. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I'm not Why Jack. do you... <laughs> like, save that one for when Jack's here, because okay. he's from Bristol. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little, London, Bristol, little Br- London boy. Yeah. Lin- Linden boy. 
Linden boy. A linden boy. All right. Um, yeah, I, 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 uh, I really enjoyed that because it's showed the range that they actually had. Mm. Like, yeah, I know it's a sh- vaudeville show, so it's basically just you know, running sushi of women, basically, <laughs> just like one woman after another. Mm. It's just yeah. I oh, know I don't like lox. Um, let's let's get dumplings. the tuna. Yeah, dump. Ooh, dumplings. Yeah, <laughs> cheeky. Um. I wanted to go to one of those the other day, but yeah. my girlfriend said that the place wasn't very good, so we got Mongolian instead. Ooh. It was a good place. Yeah, Mongolian is pretty decent. It was. For fuck's sake! I, huh? I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? I keep taking your topic. No, no, it's fine. keep going. No, it's fine. Because otherwise, I'm done. otherwise, I'm I'll just go into a tangent about Mongolian food. Yeah, going. Yeah, I, I don't care anymore. Let's. I don't care. Let's. This, this, this thing's trash anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> what did you have? <laughs> it's the uh, one in. It's the one in. If you want, if you want to know, it's the one in Millennium City. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, oh no. that one's dank. <laughs> dank. My boy. Yeah. Oh, did you, yeah, I got the uh, Gong Bao chicken or uh-huh. the Gong Bao Hun, as they say here. <laughs> And that was Boom. my. Uh, I I gotta go at least three more times before I leave. Yeah, next you should Wednesday. eat some Huns. Eat some Huns. <laughs> should we end it there? That's a Mongolian pun. <laughs> Please, can we end it there? <laughs> <laughs> Please, <Got the> Mongolians. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm done with the best moment. Let's go on to the secret category. I thought we had that. It was the shades. Oh, you want to pull that ahead? I, I just improvised that during that. that no, no, I, I thought that was your your secret moment. Oh, no, no, we can no, do no, that no, now. No, 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 I think that was... That was uh, you're, you're, you're right. No, 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 I want, if you want to do another secret moment, I'm more than happy to do another all one. All right, all right, okay. If you've got more, yeah. if, if you've got more gems yeah. in this movie that you want to share with the audience, why, yeah. why, why let them not have that? Yeah. Um, um, all right. <clears throat> Siegfeld Girls. Is it a time travel movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> because it's incredible. There, there, it's incredible. There's some there's some time traveling in here. There's, yeah. There, uh, first of all, the dad is definitely a time traveler because he's not fucking forty two. He no. he spent some time. Being in the future, knowing what it's all about, learning about everything so he can teach his daughter in the now time. He's like, he's like Rick from Rick and Morty, basically. Yeah. Hey, Julie Garland. <laughs> yeah, hey, you wanna, we gotta, we gotta, def- no, we gotta get out of here, Judy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> oh, gee, I don't know about, I don't, I don't know about this. Morty Garland. <laughs> Mor- Mor- hey, Morty Garland, we, no, we gotta, we gotta get off this. Technically, you gotta get this vaudeville act right, Judy. This, this could be a, a parallel universe of of the the <laughs> of the Rick and Morty multiverse, because they're infinite universes. This has to be one of them, because oh. it's infinite universes. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, Rick. Rick. Yeah. I, I I don't want to be part of the Von Trapp family. Oh jeez, yeah. Rick. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't want to do vaudeville anymore. <laughs> I think I got a pretty good uh, body uh, over here. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 my. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't want to be dancing with with, with animated penguins, Rick. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah Rick. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you shut you, you uh, shut, your, you shut your mouth, Judy. Uh, <laughs> you, d- you do a better Rick. We do a pretty decent body, both of us, but you're doing better Rick. Uh, this was the Rick and Morty segment, <laughs> sponsored by Adult Swim and Netflix. <laughs> also, Audible. And uh, J- Justin Roiland. <laughs> Justin Roiland. Uh, oh, I want you to be on my show <laughs> so bad. It's never going to happen, but oh, damn. He might, he might do, you know. You yeah. just got to hit up H3H3, H3, and then he, you can, he can hit up uh, Justin, Justin yeah. Roiland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, was this a time travel movie? Because we have so many time jumps in this one that, that some of them actually could be like segments that happened before. Uh, also, 
Yeah, yeah. This I is... think it could be. Yeah. I think definitely it's got a Back to the Future vibe. Also, 40 weeks is how much? Wait, it's, a almost, year, a, it's I, almost a year. A yeah. year is like 52, so, 53. So, Judy Garland should be 18 at that point. Right? Sure. Why is she still 17? I don't think the disgust is at her age beyond. Like, I think it's just ambiguous after a certain point. Oh. Uh. Like, yeah. I just think, you're 17 now, and then you're... You, you, now. Yeah. <laughs> you can marry. <laughs> Maybe. Like, literally, uh, who was it? Like, um, one of the characters kind of goes, oh, I, I couldn't remember your age, so I just put down the age of consent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just kind of like, I'm hoping you're above 16. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or 18 in America, I don't I know what it was in, it was in America in 1941. Like the just kind of like, going like, on. Uh, like there's this undertones of like, but if you really were under, like over the age of consent, I wouldn't be interested. But you know, I just put down that because you know laws and yeah. stuff. <laughs> you're getting paid anyways, <laughs> honey. Huh, yeah, see, yeah, you're getting paid anyway, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, 1940s newscaster here, Judy Garland uh, was <laughs> uh, apparently is a lesbian. <laughs> The man hunt for uh, the woman hunt for uh, Judy Garland is still continuing. She is escaping in a white Bronco on Route 66. <laughs> uh, we have her in the view, but uh, we don't actually have uh, somebody on the ground there because it is 1941. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, all, all of our all of our aircrafts are being yeah. put to the war effort. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Goddamn crowds. Um, <laughs> Goddamn crowds. Shoot him dead. Uh, God save the limeys! Yes. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, Final conclusion. What did you think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Would you watch it again? Would you recommend it? Before I say that, uh -huh. I feel like our secret segment wasn't really much of a time travel segment. It was just <laughs> us doing impressions, then moving on quickly. We did a bit of Rick and Morty, yeah, a bit, a yeah. bit of Telecaster from the from the nineteen forties. You and see, then just brilliant. Thought, conclusions, see? anyone? Yeah. You know, how was the movie, by the way? <laughs> that was settled up in a neat bow. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we discussed that one. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I for it all, it's. I mean, it's a it's a it's a fun movie to just kind of watch. I mean. I had fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a fun movie to watch. Ergo, I had fun with it. Yeah. But no, it's definitely it one of the... It is silly. It's one of those movies that if you appreciate the, the, the movies as a whole... Yeah. If you're, if you're a film connoisseur, as it were... Connoisseur. Yeah. I would say this is a, a must-see, in a way. I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's got a lot of the stars of the time. Yes. Or if not of that time, they were to be stars. I don't know if mm -hmm. Judy Garland was a star when this yeah, movie was yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. she definitely becomes one. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, I, like, I say that as if kind of uh, it's in the air. But no, she's, she's Judy Garland. Yeah. Um, but this is... It's, it's, a, it's a good time capsule... Yeah. Um, it's definitely one of the higher production well um, ones, yeah, yeah. And it's it's honestly, uh, and uh, none of the actors sucked. There was no, there no, wasn't a they were all great. Yeah, yeah. There was no actor where you're like, oh, I hate you. Why don't you leave? There, there was none of none of those. Even working class girls even working sold class it. Girl. Even sold old it. even old Jimmy Walker, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, great movie. Um, what are you, some kind of refrigerating game? <laughs> I love him. Yeah. I'm going to use that all the time. Every time uh, my, my girlfriend's being a little bit frosty, I'm going to, okay, can't start a refrigerator game? <laughs> what are you? It, if it's a bit cold outside. Yeah. <laughs> look at this refrigerator dame over here. Yeah, yeah, look at her. Look at, look, at, look at her being all cold. Uh, being out here like some kind of, she, she feels like she's a milk bottle that's just been certified. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah, but no oh uh, in all honesty it's a good film yes um again uh, the, i enjoyed the it acting's too. good the script work is is hilarious at times but yes it still it still fits the the, the and genre it, and the era and you know it has heart oh yeah yeah i mean they, they, it's definitely something that the the director and the the movie studio itself and everybody was very involved in 
because they clearly showed a, a love for vaudeville yeah and a, a love for how how the people in that time were working and 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 and, and yeah in the same way yeah in the same way that lego movie showed us the people's love for lego yes they showed us their love for vaudeville <laughs> Same thing, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is the it, Lego the, the, movie. <laughs> this is the Lego movie of the nineteen forties of, of vaudeville. Yes, the, of nineteen forties vaudeville. Definitely. Um, yeah. Um, signing off on that one. Plugs, Jimmy. Where can people find you? Do you have some social media where people can connect with you, or do you have a YouTube channel, or what do you do, man? If you, you if, if well, one bar, I, I do, do the, I do do the one bar occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do. Um, you know, just uh, I do I do odd comedy shows. I'm I've not got anything on digital yet, mm -hmm. um, but that will change. That will most likely change right soon on. enough. Yeah, hopefully. Um, so watch this space, ladies and gentlemen at home. Uh -huh. Um, if you like me, uh, smash that like button. Yes. Subscribe to this guy, and he'll keep you updated with, on what's happening will, with you. <laughs> well, with, most of he, it he won't do that at all. I'm, I'm posting at, it on Twitter. <laughs> When something ha when a show happens, but no, um, just just uh, look look uh, look me up, J J J James, yeah, oh gee, oh gee, just look me up, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, I'm doing a pretty good morning experience. <laughs> oh, no, oh, jeez. Uh, you just gotta you just gotta hit, smash that like button, morning. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a like a really good plan, Rick. I, I'm I'm really happy about that. Oh, jeez. Keep me updated with all the la the latest FFPO news. Uh, yeah, G uh, just just go to ffpoe.at or the FFP uh, page on on Facebook or, or the YouTube channel, uh, guys. Oh, jeez, it's it's so much. I, Ah, uh, this, this, this social media is killing me, man. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm slowly turning into Pen Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, we, oh, oh gee, gee. oh, wow, we, oh, <laughs> gee, Rick, oh, oh. Oh, you shot me. <laughs> All right. I think Mr. Can... Meeseeks, <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> I think a Justin Roiland impression because oh, I've seen a couple of his stuff now. Oh, it's just, yeah. it's just you have to do that kind of yeah, oh, yeah. and and just say oh look at me, oh, oh it's me, me, just oh it's Mr. Me Six, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> the just audience just, will hate this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, oh gee, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be a disappointment. Oh, I'm Mr. Me Six. Look at me. <laughs> All right, um, uh, but yeah, just just uh, uh, look me up, James yeah. Irons or Jimmy Irons, depending yeah. on what I'm going by. Link in the description, description below. below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, thank you, man, for being here. For, and I'm, for, and I'm for sorry, doing to, this. and I'm sorry to your ears, um, not just for the Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, <laughs> the uh, gangster impression, <laughs> the Justin Roiland impressions, but for just my voice in general. <laughs> I know it's not that. See, I undercut you all the time with my puns, so. You're, you're good. I didn't think yourself. you were that bad. You you put in a couple of couple of ones that because the door's right there. I could leave any time. <laughs> yeah, that's but, true. But you know, I you I, st you I stuck with it, time. and I'm proud of myself. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 fun. Yep. It's nice to be here. Yes, thank you for being here, uh, guys. Uh, thank you for listening in for. Jesus Christ, an hour twenty-five or something like that. Is that your longest show? Or? No, no, no. Okay, no, good. It's, uh, but it's up there. Uh, <laughs> You're fucking welcome. Yeah, yeah, we had a good, great and time. I'm, and I'm sorry for the swearing. That's not really me. Oh, jeez, so, don't uh, even oh. swear it, man. It's like totally cool. We, I think we should cut it here. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs>